Cricket time now on the Sports Max Zone. The Republic Bank Caribbean Premier League moves to Guyana starting Wednesday, but can boast of a successful Trinidad and Tobago leg. Trinbago Knight Riders lost just once uh, in their four matches, while the women's Massey Caribbean Premier League ended with the Barbados Royals on top. Mariah has since returned to the land of wood and water and is excited to share her experience in the country of her birth. Started at the top of the show. I will say that this year's CPL, I was really, really interested in the women's version of the tournament. And it's because I got to witness so many of the international players gel with, you know, the local regional players, if I'm to say so. And I think, and I truly believe that the integration of these international players lifted the quality of the women's tournament. We saw a century from Sophie Devine. We saw players like Shabnam Ishmael, Shreyanka Patel come into the setup and of course add so much quality and value. And I think it will benefit the regional players because they got the opportunity, some of them probably never got the opportunity before to rub shoulders with players of this quality. And I think it can only benefit their game. So kudos to CPA for that where the woman cricket is concerned but in Trinidad and Tobago we love a party we love having a good time so y'all could imagine the turnout that they, there was at the CPL matches a <laughs> lot of fun lands a lot of drinking dancing singing sometimes I wonder if the people even paying attention to the cricket <laughs> well with, with the Trinidad sometimes you, you really genuinely have to ask there was a point where the mound at Sabina Park had become a big hit. Yes. And there are a lot of people who went to watch cricket at Sabina Park and were stationed at the mound that had very little interest in the cricket. They were doing other things. Yeah. And Ricardo, <laughs> to move along from Lance's point, um, I met so many of our viewers, yes. you know, in Trinidad and Tobago. One of the things is they said that they missed me because, you know, I, um, I kind of like soften up the show for them. When you and Lance are on. Oh, that's so sweet. <laughs> just joking. A lot of people ask for you and Lance. I just had to put that in. And, you know, it was really a good experience, yeah. CPL in Trinidad. The action moves to Ghana now, and I know it will be just as good because I've been told I've never been to Ghana. Let me put that out there. But the Guyanese love cricket just as much yeah. as the Trinis. So Even more. Right. Yeah. So you can add I, that for I, me. I saw a picture this morning of the airport in Guyana, yeah. individuals arriving last night and it was jam-packed. I wonder if that had anything to do with the cricket. I'm sure, I'm sure it has. <laughs> well, the Caribbean Premier League is an organization that prides itself on women's inclusion in today's feature. Mariah has a chat with a woman who has blazed a trail in broadcasting. She's a former host of the Sportsmax Zone, Alex Jordan. Well, I'm so excited about this interview. I'm sitting with a woman who needs no introduction, Alex Jordan. Of course, she was on the show before me and I'm so happy to share this platform with you. Alex, welcome. But thank you so much. Thank you. Yeah, so today, of course, you know, my interview is surrounded getting to know you and just your journey throughout this career. You've been dominating. You've been brilliant. Thank you. <laughs> I don't know about dominating. Um, but where did I start? It's, a, it's hard to know where I started because really I come out of music. You know, I was a radio DJ, a, a, a voiceover artist, really. I, music has been my first passion and first job and first life. But um, I've always been an athlete, right? I'm a three-time Barbados national. I play squash for Barbados. I played junior golf. Hope to play senior golf one day. <laughs> and I swam. So I've always been into competitive sport, but I wasn't working in sports. And I've never studied one day about TV or broadcasting. My study was third world politics with languages, right? I, I didn't really study for this. But then I got a call from Sportsmax one day. Love that. Because they lost Alexis Nunez, who I replaced. And off I went to do live television and I learned on the job. So it's just been a lot of luck, luck and timing. And, you know, I did that show at Sportsmax and then we went to CPL and then from CPL to the world. So. You know, I, I don't know what to tell you about my journey other than I, I've been very lucky. You say luck and timing, but I think it also involves a lot of hard work. I met you at the last CPL match and it's as if you switched off from the woman. I was actually telling you uh, that Barbados was at the top of the table, but you were like, no, you had already moved on to the next game. So it's a lot of hard work as well. It is. And, you know, there's an expression that you, you create your own luck right in life uh, the energy you put out there the effort the level of effort 
Um, yeah, I work hard because I, everybody has their different styles. And I, Mariah, am an over-preparer. Yeah. I would like to know more than I need. That's good. Yeah, so that, that has definitely been the thing. And, and cricket, I mean, cricket is, has given me uh, a lifeline, a way to make a living, uh, a way to become known in, in the field of broadcasting. And cricket, cricket, cricket is a game that you will learn your whole life and still not know everything. So, yeah, just being in this sort of humble mindset the whole while that I, I never reach anywhere. I'm always still reaching. I'm always still learning. And um, gosh, there's so much to learn. Haters can't get to me. You know why? Nobody's a bigger Alex Jordan hater than Alex Jordan. Yeah. Like literally, if I get hate messages like, you suck, I'd be like, I know, Dread. I know. But I am that. improving. Yeah. I am improving and I'm going to work on that. Thank you yeah. very much. You can't get to me yeah. because I have to be full of ego for that to hurt me. Talk to us about a bit of the struggles, you know, to get from that point and Alex Jordan just getting started in the business to now the one that says, I'm my biggest hater and I can deal with what you have to say about me because I know myself better than you do. Gosh, how much time have you got? First of all, I, Daddy, rest in peace, but you didn't really prepare me. My father was such an equal opportunity father, didn't treat my sister and I any differently from my brother. So I grew up in a household where gender relations were very equal. It's only when I got in the world where I was like, I'm, I'm speaking and no one in this room is listening to me. Can they not hear my big booming voice? I literally was so taken aback that I had to, I all of a sudden realized, oh my God, the world treats women differently. Yeah. Luckily, I had not drunk the Kool-Aid. My programming was already that I am my own person and I have value. My gender is almost irrelevant. Correct. I think the hardest thing about being a woman in sports, and particularly sports TV, because remember, I come out of radio, yes. is balancing this idea of how beautiful you have to look. And when I realized, when I started just relaxing on how I look is how I look and however people perceive me is going to however they perceive me, really working on my character. Yes. How I make people feel the value of my intelligence and my opinions and my angles of observation is what I value. I'm not sure what they value, but I have to stick to what I value. And the moment I started shifting from worrying, worrying, worrying to actually, no, no, you all want to hear what I have to say? Like, let's Let roll. On, yeah. That was a big shift for me. And it's difficult for you, for your generation, the people below you, because social media, you know, pick or it didn't happen, <laughs> right? This is the culture that you live in. How something looks matters a lot. But I would urge a lot of women to maybe focus a little less on how something looks and think about how it feels, yeah. how it, you know, I, I talk about we are human beings. But in this generation, y'all don't do a lot of being. You all do a lot of posing, setting up, looking like we're being. Yeah. No, you have to be in your body. Be present in the moment. This is it. Yeah. So, Alex, as we get ready to wrap, and of course, I thank you for taking the time. What's the legacy that you intend to leave? I guess I, I would like to leave a legacy that you can take your own path, that there's not one prescription to being a woman or to being a West Indian or to being whatever you want to be. I hope I leave a legacy of, you know, you can do anything you want to do. And don't, don't let anyone put any barriers on you. Um, when they called me to come into live TV, I was 40. I went into TV at 40 as a woman. I want that to be an inspiration to someone who's turning 30 and feeling like the world is over. The world is just beginning. You know, don't let people devalue you. Do not subscribe to those old tropes about age or you know, gender or class, race, be your own self, you know, rise above it. And, and you'll be amazed at how people react to you. Yeah, well, for sure, you know how to make people feel good. I want to thank you so much for joining yeah. us. Yeah, um, Mariah, I'm sure you enjoyed that. Alex Jordan is not a normal individual. She has a dynamic brain and uh, a hugely talented woman. And it was a pleasure to work with her for the time that she was at Sportsmax. Yeah, it was amazing to work with her, Lance. And I tell you a quick story. When I just came to Sportsmax in 2017, the first few weeks I was here, I remember them being quite tough, trying to fit into a new environment. Alex Jordan was on vacation at the time when I came. And the first day that Alex Jordan walked through the door, 
I remember feeling so much better because she came with a type of life and energy that I had just not felt before. Um, and, 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 and once, once you are engulfed in that, um, and I just remember that when she spoke about how you make someone feel and the importance of that, I'll never forget that because in that moment, Alex Jordan made me feel at home and I felt that way ever since. Yeah, she really has a way with people. And of course, you know, I had to thank her for taking the time because she was so, so busy during the CPL. But we have to go now. We have to go to a break. And when we come back, interactive. Yeah. 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 Yeah.